All right, here we are. We're going to see how to do all of this in SAS. So I'm in the virtual labs in SAS. Uh, double click on SAS. Uh, SAS 9.4 English. Maximize it. It has three windows. You're going to get a fourth one pretty soon. The editor window where you type in the script. Uh, the log window which gives us information once we start submitting and running our scripts. Then the output, which is the output from our script. There's actually going to be another one for HTML, which is going to actually hold the output. So let's get into Editor. And remember that uh, SAS works in terms of steps. And the first step is the data step. You get the data into SAS. Okay, there we go. Um, starts with the data command. We have to name our data set. Uh, let's call our data set just one, because this is the first data set. Uh, the second line specifies the variables. It's the input line. So we're going to input two variables. The first variable is going to be the package type. We're going to call that variable package. The second is going to be the log count of bacteria. We're going to call that variable count semicolon. Remember to end your lines with semicolons. And then we start entering in the data. So with the data line. So 1, 7.66. 1, 6.98, 1, 7.80, etc. And this is the data from the, the meat bacteria example uh, handout. You probably don't want to spend this time watching me do this, especially since I'm about ready to start messing up. So I'm going to pause and then come back when it's done. Notice I just, I'm done now. I got all the data in. The first column corresponds to the package. Second column corresponds to the count, specifically the log count of bacteria. Each row is an observation. Now I could have uh, done this a little bit differently. I could have put all the ones on one row, all the twos on the next, all the threes on the third, and all the fours on the last. I could do that, but then I'd have to do at at in this input row. Completely up to you whether you want to do that or not. And notice I ended it with a single semicolon, but none of the data ends with semicolons. Just the entire block of data. The language of SAS is the language of processes, or in SAS speak, it's the PROC. The PROC that we will be using most of this course is going to be PROC GLM. There we go. Um, the first parameter that you have to give it is the data. Here, the data set is 1. There's some options that you could give it, but we're not going to do it. We're going to end that line. Now that we're doing analysis of variance, the next line has to specify what the categorical variable is. The function is class, and then package, because that's our categorical variable. Notice I put a space here. That space is completely irrelevant. You can have the space. You can not have the space. SAS doesn't care third line is going to be our model line. And the model is going to be of the form dependent variable equal to our independent variable. And that's it. This is going to run the analysis of variance. This is going to input the data. And there is one more line we need to do. We need to include run. And since you're using GLM, 
you really should also use quit. Now running all of that, you can click on the little running man, you can go up to run submit, sorry run submit, or uh, the F8 button. So now we've got four windows down here. Here's the editor window where we put in our scripts. Here's the log window. We should always look at the log window. We're looking for errors that are thrown up. There's nothing in red. Some interesting notes throughout. Um, output. There's no output here because we're using an updated viewer. It's here in the HTML window, that brand new one. So here's what things look like. Starts with the SAS system, the GLM procedure, class level information. So spitting back to us what the pa uh, what the classes variable uh, what the class variable is, its package, how many levels it has. There's four levels, and what are those four levels? One, two, three, and four. The number of observations read. This is the capital N. This is the total sample size. There's twelve of them. Number of observations used also twelve. Good information. Second page, SAS system, the GLM procedure specifies what the dependent variable is. Let's double check that that's what we wanted. Yep. Here's the ANOVA table. In SAS, it uses the term model. In the book, that's between. SAS uses the term error. In the book, that's within. It's also sometimes error. So the degrees of freedom between, remember, is t minus 1, the number of groups minus 1. How many groups are there? There's 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Degrees of freedom for error is the sample size minus the number of groups. Well, what's the sample size? There's 12. Number of groups, 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. And then the total, 3 plus 8 is 11, or this is 12 minus 1. Next column is the sums of squares. If we had done this by hand, these are the numbers we would have gotten. Notice again that the sum of squared model plus the sum of squared error is equal to the total sum of squares. Third column is the mean squared. As always, the mean squared is just the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. So 32.8728 divided by 3 gives us that 10.9576. Likewise, the 0.9268 divided by 8 gives us the 0.11585. The f value is the mean squared model divided by the mean squared error, just as it was the mean squared between divided by the mean squared within. It's 94.58. This is the 10.9576 divided by the 0.11585. The p value corresponding to that f value with numerator degrees of freedom 3, denominator degrees of freedom 8, is less than 1 in 10,000. Cool. We have a box plot. So this is the uh, box plot for the log count of bacteria for package 1. Yeah, what is package 1? Oh, it's plastic wrap. And this is a distribution of, in the sample of the log bacteria count for packaging 2 of the vacuum. There's for 3 CO2, and there's for 4 the mixed gases. Looks like the mixed gases is very different from the rest. And actually, it looks like um, vacuum is different from the rest. It doesn't appear as though CO2 and plastic wrap are different. Now, to read these box plots, the horizontal line is the median the diamond or the square that's been twisted is the mean. That's a sample mean. And that's it. That's all you have to do. There's more information here. As the class goes on, we'll get a better understanding of what that information means. But until then, yeah, look at the pretty numbers. So that was it. It all goes back to the PROC GLM. Specify the class, specify the model, run, then quit. And then submit the whole thing. Either clicking on the little running dude, clicking on run, and then submit, or pressing F8. 
I think the F8 only works on PCs, though. Could be wrong. So this was a good start. Nice and simple. Got us feet wet in SAS. Take care of yourself. Bye.